A native of the Crescent City, Clarence Cazalot is the product of a working class family of modest means. Yeah, when I look back uh, at what I've achieved, I, I would alter my family, uh, my mother and father. You know, they gave me a great work ethic. They imparted uh, great values and beliefs that have really been the basis for the way I've lived my life and the, the things I've tried to achieve. Clarence studied geology at LSU, started his career in the oil and gas industry, and used his natural problem-solving abilities and drive to move through the ranks. I had to engage in a whole new learning process once I went to work, and so it was my own outside study, going to seminars and taking courses, uh, reading about geophysics, learning the theory, learning how it was applied, uh, that really allowed me then to, uh, to become a, a very good geophysicist. And then over my career, to move from doing the technical side of the work. So I did geophysics, moved back into geology, certainly learned engineering along the way. Again, uh, I think demonstrating that learning is a lifelong experience. Uh, and ultimately being able to, uh, to move into supervision and management and ultimately into the executive ranks. And you know, each step along the way, uh, my philosophy was simply that uh, I was going to do the best job I could in whatever assignment I was given. And I, I took on assignments, uh, I would say fearlessly. I, I didn't try to game the system and only take on those things that I knew I could be successful in because that that might allow me to move forward. I took high risk assignments uh, that uh, were challenging because I love challenges. But I think from each one, and I wasn't always successful, but each one allowed me to learn and to grow and develop uh, and, and have greater confidence in the things I was able to achieve. And so uh, that's sort of you know, the story of my career. His passion for learning and reputation in the industry would lead to a terrific opportunity at Marathon Oil Corporation, as he was named president and then CEO shortly thereafter. I saw an opportunity to run an integrated business, so not simply being on the exploration and production side of the business, but having exploration and production, the midstream with pipelines, and then refining and marketing, which uh, certainly Marathon had. He was tremendously successful in his 13 years at Marathon and has a message about achievement for JA's participants. So I would say be a good person. Uh, have a great set of values uh, and beliefs, uh, honesty, integrity, uh, treating people with respect and dignity, uh, giving back, helping those less fortunate. Uh, that's the key. In, in my mind to a successful life and a successful career and I assure you when you look back at what you did and how you did it how you did it is going to be just as important to you as what you achieve. Today Clarence is retired from Marathon Oil but remains active in the community. As you get older your your hobbies evolve and and I think that uh, my hobbies today uh, when I'm not working on my boards and doing not-for-profit work uh, are really my family. Uh, spending time with quality time with my wife and my children, my grandchildren. Uh, I've become a huge uh, soccer fan, uh, youth football fan, and uh, that's the quality time I, I look to spend. Clarence Cazalot, 2017 inductee into the J.A. Hall of Achievement.